It's Two Minute Tuesday. Last time I showed you how to make a bunny burner, and today I'm going to show you how to make a stove to go with that bunny burner. And the best part is it only takes two common household items. key element to survival is working with limited resources and making do with what you have or what you can find quickly. The tin can stove is as simple as it gets and can be used to boil water efficiently or heat your food. There are many variations to the tin can stove and each has their pros and cons. Today I'm going to show you the most simplest way to make it. Find yourself a tin can. A coffee or a large bean can works well and you will need a can opener like this. Remove any labeling. Next, use the can opener and poke some holes around the top of the can. These will serve as exhaust vents. Now punch some holes around the bottom. You'll want plenty of them so that the burner isn't smothered. Use caution as the edges will be sharp and will cut you. Push the punched tin back into the can like so. There are two ways to use this stove. With the open end down, Place the tin can stove over the lid buddy burner. This is the most quickest way to use the stove. There is nothing more warming than the orangish glow of the flame. Now place your container on top of the tin can and wait for the water to boil. Another way to use the stove is with the open end up. If you use the stove this way, I would use some tent pegs or stakes pushed through the holes or place them on top to form a grill. This will keep your water container or cup from falling into the stove. Using a cotton fire starter and a lighter, I make quick work of building a stick fire. Toss some small sticks in first to get it going. Then use some bigger sticks as the fire grows. If you throw too many sticks in too fast, it will begin to smoke. Just give it a second and it will recover. You want to have a good fire going to bring the water to a quick boil. Now that the fire is going strong, it's time to sit back and reflect on your amazing fire building skills. The water has begun to boil now and is ready for a cup of tea, hot chocolate, instant coffee, or soup. So there you have it. Please like and share this video and also subscribe to the channel. Since you're already there, go ahead and click that bell icon so that you'll get notified of any updates. Let me know in the comments section what tin cans you might have used. And if you have any video suggestions, go ahead and leave those comments as well. I'm Berlin Birch. I'll see you next time.